Greetings fellow nerds. In this video we're going to demonstrate paramagnetic fluid. It's ferro fluid's weaker and less famous cousin. However, it does possess the property of being transparent, which almost all ferro fluid lacks. It's also somewhat easier to make. First we need a paramagnetic salt. Now I showed in a previous video that dysprosium nitrate was paramagnetic. But there is a cheaper and easier to obtain paramagnetic salt, manganese nitrate. The attraction is very weak, but it's there. Paramagnetism is a form of magnetism where substances are attracted to a magnet, but themselves cannot become magnetized. It's much weaker than ferromagnetism, but present in a greater variety of substances. This effect also works for other manganese 2 salts like manganese chloride or manganese sulfate. Transparent ferromagnetic substances do exist, but are hard to come by. Moving on. Here I have a saturated solution of manganese nitrate. We can see it's ever so slightly attracted to the magnet and creeps up along the glass. The effect is not nearly as strong as in ferrofluid, so to help it along we're going to try and suspend it in another non-miscible fluid. Ferrofluid uses mineral oil, but we can't use that because saturated manganese nitrate solution is too dense and still won't move very much. Even in dichloromethane, which is denser than water, it's still too dense. We need to match the density by diluting the manganese nitrate. To find the right density, we start with some dichloromethane, about 15 milliliters, and add a milliliter of water which floats. Then we add manganese nitrate solution incrementally until the whole drop can easily be pulled around with a magnet. You'll need to do some trial and error to find the right amount. And there we have it. A drop of paramagnetic fluid in a dichloromethane carrier fluid. We can clearly see it being attracted to the magnet. If you give it a hard shake, the drop breaks up into lots of tiny droplets. Applying the magnet, the droplets pull toward it and coalesce back into the larger drop. Another fun trick is to make a fluorescence. The paramagnetic fluid is clear so we can use a drop of highlighter fluid. Once it's mixed in, we shine in ultraviolet light and now we have a fluorescent paramagnetic fluid. Here it is again close up. Exactly what use this would be, I have no idea, but I'm sure you artists can figure something out. And there you have it, a paramagnetic fluid, parafluid. Thanks for watching.